lähteä toteuttamaan lapsuuden haaveita ja alkaa luistella naismoodissa, vaikka syntyperäisin oinkin mies. Ja tuota, sieltä on yhdeksän niin vuotta aikaa, eli siihen yhdeksän vuoteen sisältyy aika paljon. Eli kun lähdetään ihan nollasta, niin ihan jo sitä, että pysyy pystyssä kahdella jalalla, pysyy pystyssä yhdellä jalalla ja sen jälkeen rupeaa niin uskaltamaan tehdä jotakin siellä jäällä. Ja sitten alkaa pikkuhiljaa oh. kisaamaan ja esiintymään näytöksissä ja niin edelleen. Että sanotaan, että aika kivaa ura on ollut, mutta tietysti korona tuli vähän sitten väliin, että se sitten sotki, sotki kuviota. Mutta tuota, eteenpäin mennään. Ja Homma Mahtavaa. Näiden EM-kisojen slogan on Tule sellaisena kuin olet. Brave and beautiful. So that's that. I don't know what really was going on there. I'll look for an article about it. I think he posted one. But um, I don't know, Eric. Let's just assume for the moment that that is what we were told it is. Some sort of, you know, transgender person that they've decided should be a figure skater based on zero merit. And uh, what do we say about that? I mean, talk, zero merit. I, I, look, that person just strapped on those skates for the first time this morning. I, I mean, I don't know. We're talking about like that. Looks like that looks like me if I were trying to. I, you know what I mean? It's like it takes you ten or fifteen minutes, and then you kind of get your rhythm, right? Like I can. Rem- I haven't been, uh, you know, mm-hmm. ice skating. I guess since I was a kid. I'm sure you guys do it every day, but I haven't been ice wow. skating since. <laughs> since you know like a birthday party in sixth grade or something like that but it takes you what it takes you 10 or 15 minutes then you get the rhythm that's mm-hmm. what that looks like and i get it there's a bunch of people there so maybe it's a little bit nerve-wracking but that was by no stretch of the imagination anywhere near a professional grade figure skater man woman or otherwise like who, who are they fooling I, fa- I found an article here that we can read to and let's let's learn together everybody shall we this is from Post Millennial. Figure he, no, and trans. Is this, is this his article? Is this Pesob? I would Pesob? assume so. Didn't look like Stay it. There. Go, go down. I think it's under the image. Libby, Libby. Evans, who's their editor in chief. Uh, uh, yeah, m- further murmuring. Um, <laughs> figure skater and trans identified biological male, Mina Maria Antikainen. That's how you got to say Finnish names. Wait, h- hang on. Date. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just really quickly. Stop with the biological male. Right, like there's only one yeah, type I love of male. Writing. I'm sorry. The only just... I know, but so I'm gonna throw them a bone here and say that you have to do that sometimes because um, the reader might not understand that the person that you're talking about identif- thinks that they're a woman. So you yeah, because have it makes stick. no sense, and that's why. And this is how we got here: <laughs> is that people who who pretend to be, you know, speaking up for the truth or whatever, like you know, common sense, conservative, whatever you want to call it. Could every you don't even realize that that's a step in the in the wrong direction, right? We we it's very easy to overlook that as being a step in, and playing ball with their shenanigans, right? Like so, I get it. it, it I makes, I think it's that you have to identify what the subject of the story is, and this is a guy who's pretending to be a girl. So say that, put it that way. <laughs> but you have to have some sort of level of. Pr- of professionalism in your writing or else you're just writing a blog figure skater guy who thinks he's a girl mean La- lady what you man want L- lady boy gave yeah. a debut performance of the european figure skating championship in espoo finland i'm familiar with that due to hockey don't make a comment about being canadian the ceremony sees female figure skaters holding national flags while antikine and wobbling on white skates and with arms outstretched skates a solo on the ice amid the girls who stand by and watch Antikainen then stumbles and fails. So this is just a transcript of the video. I want to yeah. know like more information about who this person is. Defines herself as a gender neutral woman, adaptive skating performers, and a male synchronized skating team. Um, so this is like a performance of all these different types of skaters. And I guess they're showcasing this transgender person with a diverse group of performers. We want to show that the ice has space for everyone. So this is literally, let's find somebody who identifies as transgender or what is it? Gender neutral, which is literally impossible. You can't be gender neutral. You can't just say that you have no gender. That's literally impossible. Even if you cut off all your determining features, you can't be gender neutral. There's no such thing. You still have certain chromosomes. So unless you're going through some advanced radiology therapy that, I don't know, microwaves your hormones into being nothing definitive, there's no such thing. That's like saying you, you're 
cat gave birth to a kitten and what is it it has no gender that's literally impossible you can say that they're a gender like, like uh you can say they're intersex all this stuff and then the doctors makes a decision what it's closer to and what it would have an easier life as but there's no, there's no thing where it's just like the person doesn't have they're equally man equally woman and i mean i could be just as wrong as i am about the air conditioning units there <laughs> but i don't think i'm uh making a stretch here <laughs> with the diverse group of performers we want to show that the ice has space for everyone choreographer if they couldn't get a guy who at least knows how to skate i mean you could at least get somebody... lampy um no because nobody in the figure skating world is going to do that because figure skating which is kind of big here skates canada Women are really good at it. They want to compete against other met women. Men are really good. At this isn't a sport that's taught in high school or done in high school. This isn't a sport that's done in college. You got to have advanced skating training. Either you left hockey because you were a really good skater and you thought you could do better at this, or you've been skating um, competitively since you're very young age. There's no room for like when sports aren't through schooling, systems and systems of leftist do indoctrination control it's v there's very little transgenderism going on that's why there's uh trans people in wrestling because it's done in high school and then there's none of them in mma except for the one guy who got away with it for a little bit you see what i'm How saying we like, never there's see not any in basketball we never see it in basketball because it, the lesbians would beat the shit out of the guy. Is <laughs> why Brittany Griner and crew are beating this guy up. If this, if you come in and start dunking on them, you've seen the highlights, Eric. I know you've seen the highlights where they're just like, "Oh my god, this girl just dunked and she didn't even touch the rim and it rattles around five times and finally goes down." <laughs> These girls are going to beat the guy's ass for coming in and stealing their shine. I just think that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. These aren't weak women. They may be. Not we don't see it in football either. We don't. How come we never see any trans men? Right, that's in what the it lingerie is. Lingerie football league? No, no, no. Or women in that because they die. <laughs> in uh, head to head of... sports where physical contact, it's not going to happen. You know the most famous. But it's not going to happen in any player... sport. It's not going to happen in tennis. It's not going to happen in golf. There's no yeah, way. I know. A... I meant we're, the we're other way, but the the male to female way, the most famous female hockey player historically in Canada, her name was Haley Wickenheiser, greatest female hockey player of all time. Frankly, the greatest female soccer players of all time are Canadian too, FYI. But this girl, the greatest female hockey player of all time, goes to play in, she played in a men's league. She didn't play in a, the North American League nhl she didn't play in the minor league for the nhl the american hockey league she didn't play in the east coast hockey league which is below that level she didn't play for any other regional league in north america she played in the third tier finnish men's league you can make an argument for the first tier men's league in finland still not that great of a league but the third tier men's league in finland which has no body checking that's the the height she was able to play at and um you, you've seen all these examples over the years where 17, 13 year old boys soccer team beats women's 19 year old soccer team. The, the equivalent seems to be about 13, 14 year olds in sports like soccer and hockey that they're able to play against probably not even basketball. Cause there's some giant kids out there. I watch those highlights too. I got a uh, tangent here. I got into watching high school basketball highlights through Mac McClung senior year. Shout out Mac oh. McClung. Well, he played for the Warriors or like the Warriors Summer League or something, I think. White dude, he right? played, um, was it the Warriors? I think it was the Bulls. I think at one and, at one point in time he was, because that's how I heard about him was because the Warriors and the, my team. then the Lakers. Is he in the league? Like, Do you know if he's in the league? I think now, he, right? I don't know. It was, it was, don't know it was Summer League or G League? He was crushing the like Summer that. League in this okay. summer. He was crushing the Summer League. I don't know where he is now, but uh, he was from a place called Gate City, Virginia. He beat Allen Iverson state point records. But I digress. This is a absolute shit show, and I think they have a video. Um, the video posted three years ago indicates there's been little improvement in Antikinen's uh skill level let's throw back to that let's see if this rumble video oh so this us. person didn't put on the skates just this morning 30 minutes ago can we hear this i can hear it yeah this is like ballet 
I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead of this magical part. The Finnish language, though, I'm used to it from the. Oh, oh my god! Let's just go ahead and pause that there. Um, you know, um, Eric, I don't know what to say. Well, I'm surprised. I the way that this young person was skating, I literally, I'm not joking. Like I thought they just put the skates on that morning, but and this is not skating though. This is some other ballet so maybe they did just put the skates on that morning well it's all relative eric ballet figure skating it's all a dance as you can see there's a lot of complex movements going on here a lot of attractive people in the room <laughs> um and then he turns into zena the warrior princess on ice here i guess oh and i mean Lord. he's probably better a figure skater but the lights were on you know in the world of the ufc some people are just great in the lower leagues and they get to the UFC, the big lights are on them or they get to title fight. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is a perfect example. Um, and this is going to sound like an insult, but this is the Donald Cerrone of transfigure skating. Pretty good here in the empty arena, but when the lights go on, um, Antolinen, he just didn't have it, I guess. 